Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this is the Friday Freebie. This is the page, and it is just Vintage Valentine's Stamps. Now, I'm not sure that I'm going to do anything with this today. I mean, you guys know how to use stamps. The reason being is I really don't have any paper ready to use these with. I'm working on a kit right now for Valentine's, so that will be coming shortly and I can use it then but I mean like I said you guys know how to use stamps but I thought these were cute and these I made them kind of large on here and then if you want them smaller you can just print them two to a page and it'll make the smaller stamps or you can print them three to a page if you want them even smaller but I did those for you and that is your freebie I will put the link below for it if I come up with something in my head before the video ends then I will <laughs> I will let you know what I, I'm gonna do with them but right now like I said I don't really have any paper here now somebody asked me yesterday how I made this cover for the journal for the envelope journal that we're doing out of the Amazon packaging and I don't know if I explained it right but it's this Amazon packaging it's not that hard cover like you get sometimes this is that envelope that has those little yucky things in there that go all over the place when you tear it this is the envelope that I use to make this cover out of and you can see it's nice and flat today love it I've got to put some fabric in here and some lace on here and then I'll probably do some other things on the front but it's going to be the perfect size for our envelope journal but it was very easy to make and it's nice and crunchy it's nice and crunchy right now it's still a little bit stiff but it is nice and crunchy because you can hear this yeah and if you get one that's really really wrinkled all I did was I took my little craft iron and I just ironed it I mean, I've got a little bitty craft iron that's like that big, and I just ironed over it. didn't take any time at all. This is a really large one. This will make a couple of good journals. So I keep those, and I just make journal covers out of them. I find anything that I can to make a journal cover out of. Just don't tear them. That, that old foam stuff goes everywhere. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to put this aside. I don't think, I think we'll work on this tomorrow. This is our stacked envelopes in here and we've got a few more to make for this side and then we'll attach it but I think I'll work on that tomorrow today I thought I would try to finish up this little journal instead of doing the, like I said the Friday freebie since I don't really have anything in my head to do uh, I need to finish this one up now we have got a tag in there we've got a tag in here but I'm going to put something else behind it we've got something in there I just need to finish this one up. I need to make a tall tag for this. So let's see what we have over here. We make a tall tag out of. I hope that's okay with you guys that I can finish that and not have to not try to force a Friday freebie on you when I really don't have anything in mind to do. I don't like to force things. I like to have a plan and sometimes I just don't have a plan and I don't always come to the you know come to the video with plans in my head but I try to I try to have as many as I can and that way I don't have to sit here and go um 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 what are we gonna do so let's see we need to make a tag and I like the blueness on those little birds there so I thought I might make a tag using this tall tag and this is my cup of coffee botanical digital kit and let's see hey we're supposed to get some snow Monday can you believe it I can't believe that we'll probably end up just getting ice we don't really ever get snow hardly ever and if we do it just it turns into ice I'm gonna measure this just to see make sure I don't go over I think if I make it close to four right under four we'll be good so yeah it's calling for really cold weather and you know we're in the south so we're not prepared for cold weather we're not we don't have the icing capabilities like you guys do in the north so ours will probably end up being a mess <laughs> we'll probably end up having power outages and everything else now this is printed on just regular copy paper I told you my dilemma yesterday 
about the copy paper deal. Um, I thought I had regular my regular printer paper in there that I print my digitals on, and I didn't. I ended up having just regular copy paper. So I'm going to need to strengthen that, and I'm just going to use, I've got a lot of these maps, I'm just going to use that in the middle. It's just an old book page of maps, and I've got a ton of these, so that will strengthen it. It's not quite tall enough, but I think it'll still be okay. Let's see. Yeah, it'll still be okay if we have to cut it down just a notch. And then we'll use this for the backing. So, what are you guys up to? What are you up to today? Are you crafting? Are you freezing? Are you? <laughs> it's pretty cool here today. It's not uh, not cool, I know, compared to a lot of you guys, but it's cool for us. And I always tell you, anything that's below fifty is cold for me because I like I like hot weather. I like warm weather. I can't get warm when it's really cold. My thermometer doesn't work right. My son-in-law said yesterday that he thought his thermometer was broke too because he got to where he stays hot all the time. I said, well, you know, you're getting older, so. <laughs> Mine, I used to stay hot all the time and now I stay cold all the time, so. You never know. Well, let's see, let's cut this with my trimmer. That would probably be the best thing to do, Edith, because you'll probably cut it crooked if you don't. So, I don't really have anything new to tell you guys today. I think I've not talked it all out this week. Oh, I do have something new to tell you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for encouraging Melina on her video last night. She, <laughs> she messaged me and she said, Mother... What in the world is going on? She said, I've got people all over my video saying, please don't quit. Please, I know everybody gets discouraged, but please, you know, do more videos. And she said, what's going on? I said, well, you know, I kind of sort of probably told them that you was having a little bit of discouragement and that you might need a little bit of pick-me-up from them. <laughs> she said, oh, my goodness, mother. I said, yeah. Hey, I said, it didn't hurt any, did it? And she said, no, I've had some wonderful comments. She said, I've been sitting here reading them. She said, thank you. I said, you're welcome. I told you that they want your videos and that they enjoy watching you. She said, well, I, I didn't know for sure. She said, I've just got a little discouraged after, during the holidays. And I said, well, we all do. That's just something we all go through. She said, that helped me a lot. So thank you guys for going over and watching her video and then leaving her comments. She enjoyed reading all of them last night. Okay, now to keep my tags from curling, I know, yes, you can put them under something heavy, but I just flip them over on the back and use this really good bone folder, and it flattens them right out without a problem. I like to do that because I don't like to wait. You guys know I'm very impatient. I like for things to happen. Two separate collections, but this is to me this is wintry. This is wintry, so not a problem. I'm gonna make sure it fits first before I do anything else to it, since I didn't really measure. Oh, look at that, Edith. What have you got going on here, girl? Oh, I think it will. I think I just. It was, I was holding it up somehow. There we go. Yes. Perfect. A little tight down at the bottom. We may have to put our ruler in there and see what's going on. I probably almost glued the pocket together. No me. There we go. That goes in good. So now I'm just going to round the top or cut it. I'm going to cut it in a tag shape. I do have my little tag template here somewhere. Somewhere. Well, it has disappeared, so we'll just cut it the old-fashioned way. I always lose that thing. I need to tie it around my neck, I think. There we go. 
Now I'm going to ink it a little bit and then I am going to, well, I'm going to punch this pull in it first. And this is a ribbon punch. It punches this top little hole, that one right there. I will link that below if I can remember. And if I don't, you guys just let me know and I'll look it up for you. I used to try to keep it linked, but I think the link messed up and then I had to redo it and now I can't remember to put it in my little history there where it'll link every time. I tell you, me and links have a problem sometimes. And I think I might just put some of this in there. This is a really good twine. It came in the e-club kits for this month. And I haven't showed those and I haven't got them on the website yet. I will try to get those up this weekend. I've been I've been busy busy, so I haven't got them up yet, but I'll try to get them up for you. There we go. But I wanted to finish this journal up because I have I have so many journals going right now that I need to get some of them finished. What am I hanging on? Something I need to glue down, I'm sure. Yep, right there. Little piece that's not glued down good. All right, now you should go in there without a problem. Yes. Okay. So we got that one, and I love that hanging out. I don't mind that at all. That flips out. You see those little girls, and you got lots of journaling space. And then this one, and I will put seam binding in the tops of all of these. Right now, I've, I've got my seam binding up on a shelf, so I haven't put any in there, but I will do that. And I'll also put some of these vintage letters and waybills and that kind of thing in behind them. I like to do that. Sometimes I just stick them in there like that. Then you can do with them what you want. And I usually keep quite a few of those printed up. I need to reprint them. And let's see, we got that. There's This one's got that tag in it. And we'll put something behind that. It's got that in it. I love that. It's our little girls. Okay, we got that in there, but I want to make a larger tag for that. I think this, I don't have any kind of embellishment on that so we probably need to embellish that a little bit and then put um, a larger tag in behind it so let me find the paper you know what i think i'm going to cut this out this is a paper pad that melina didn't want anymore so i grabbed it because you know i like invoices and things like that i don't know who it was made by it was just a partial pad it, it could be Tim Holtz, and then again, it could be somebody else. I really don't know. No name on it. She had already taken the cover and everything off, so. But I think that'll go good behind there. Yeah. Then, and I don't know that I'm going to put anything on this. I'm going to trim that brown off of the other side since I've got it trimmed off of that one. Because this would be a good writing spot. There's some little journaling on there. But I am going to put something on here. Okay, I'm thinking about putting that those on there. I'm going to move this so I can work on it. These are some little flowers. Again, Melina didn't want, so Mama grabbed them. <laughs> I said, I like your leftovers that you don't want. <laughs> and I may, let's see. I've cut these out this morning. These, This was the freebie a couple of weeks ago. It was those medicine labels. And I may try to put one of these behind. I haven't got them all cut out, but I've got a good start on it. Yeah, that one probably worked. So let's put some ink around it. This says glycerin. And I'm going to put it a little bit over off center. And then we'll just clip that off. 
There we go. And then I'm going to put both of these on, I think. I think I'm going to put this one in the back. Now you could have, and I probably should have. Let's see if I can lift this up. Oh, yeah. Let's just lift this up and we will stick those in behind there. And that'll make them a little bit taller. Ugh. Glue. Glue fingers. These are stickers, but they are very stuck. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're very sticky. Come on, come on. You're going to get in there. I'm going to force you. There we go. Put that one there. And then this one on the other side. It's just bringing in a little bit of that blue. And it's not really, doesn't look like a, a flower flower. It looks like some kind of winter weed, I think. Okay, I'm going to put that one down there. Oh, they're almost too sticky. There we go. And then I just have a tiny bit to trim off here and here. Oh, I like that on there. And then up here, I think I need another type of little label, some kind. So let's grab our labels out here. Let's just put that on there. I mean, it says heritage, but we don't care. It doesn't have to say anything in particular. Oh yeah, I love that. And I've already got the paper on the back to write on, so that one, that one is done. Put that in there. I like how that shows. And then I'm going to ink up this one a little bit. And I, like I said, I don't think I'm going to put anything on the front. You can leave this for journaling, and I don't want to cover up any of that uh, invoice there. I love that. 1900, I think is what it's trying to say. And let's grab some paper to cover the back with. You might just use that. Put it that way. And I should be able to get some art glitter glue on this. This is quite a thick paper. If I can open it up again. So I have another trash to treasure that I'm going to try to get done tomorrow. And we'll see how we go with that one. I have quite a few pieces of trash that have come through that I need to do something with. So I thought we would do another trash to treasure. You guys seem to like those, so we'll continue to do them as long as you like them. Yeah, I like that on the back. A lot more writing room, too. I listened to my video yesterday, and of course I was editing, and I don't know, I seemed, I seemed like I was talking in slow motion. <laughs> I don't know what it was. So I text Melina, and I said, listen to this. I said, do I sound like I'm in slow motion, talking in slow motion? And I said, did I have the setting wrong? And she listened to it. She said, Mother, you sound normal. She said, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, well, to my ears, it sounded like I was in slow motion. And she said, no, it's normal, Mother. She said, you worry too much. <laughs> I said, well, when I, when I, to me, I feel like I'm in slow motion. I don't want to mess it up and post a video like that. That's for sure. All right, let's see. Do we want to break this up a little bit by putting something there? I think I will just I mean it's so busy I just want to break it up with something <laughs> and this kind of goes with that invoice so I'm gonna break it up with that a little bit this is the little journal that we made using the AJ kit for December and of course I haven't finished it yet but I'm trying to get it finished this week and then that way it'll be ready to go I don't think this one is sold. I don't know, but I don't think. I'll have to look on my list. 
There we go. And then there's that 1859 paper. I'm going to leave that. I don't want to cover that. We need to make a tag for this. That's not Easter Bunny. That is what one of the winter woodland creatures came in there. So that's what that is. Not an Easter Bunny. You know, I've got this tag made. I could just use that one. I mean, that's the winter flowers. So we'll just put that in there. I need to put a topper on it. This I'm going to leave for journaling. That's a good place to journal. Uh, we've got a belly band here. Now, in this belly band, I wanted to make one of those little booklets that I could slide in there. And it can be taken in and out. I think I already have one made. Let me look and see if I've got one made that will kind of go with this. If not, we'll make one real quick. Okay, I do have one made, but it's not going to go with this journal. This is more of a spring type journal. So we'll put that one aside, and I'm going to skip over that for the minute. I think I might use this. I love that handwriting on there. I don't know if that's a font, which I'm sure it probably is, but isn't that pretty? I just love it. I don't even know what it all says, but I love it. Flowers, I will take two red roses. So it looks like a poem, maybe, but I'm going to use it, and then we'll put something else on top of it. I just think it's pretty. It doesn't always have to be exactly the same paper that you're using everywhere else. It can be something different. I just think this will be a good addition to that. So, let's cut it off right there. That would even look pretty with one of, for the, one of those little notebooks, too. We might do that. Let's make sure this fits in here before we start doing anything to it. It does. fits perfectly. I think I'm going to cut it right there. And we don't even need to put anything on the back of it. You can journal on that. And this is a pretty thick cardstock, so we can use that without even doing anything else. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll make a tag out of it. And to make a tag, I just, if I can't find my tag template, which right now I can't, and I want it a little bit bigger. Now, we do have the tag punch. Let me grab it and I'll show you. Sometimes I want my slant a little bit bigger than what this will make. But this makes a very pretty little um, punch, tab, tag punch. I'll get that out in a minute. Did it, did it. I'll show you on this piece. Ooh. I, I just punched two of them. That was good. See, it just makes a really pretty little slant there for a tag. But sometimes I want them a little bit larger. So that's what I do. And don't worry, I'll use those that I just cut. Not a problem. Okay. Now, we went, I want to put something on here. But I don't want to cover up all of the writing. So, I'm going to see what I have over here. Okay, I'm going to fussy cut this blue flower. I know that may be a, like a spring flower or whatever. But it's blue. It's going to match. If I don't find anything else, that's what I'll fussy cut and put on there. I have this one, but it's a little shorter. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to worry about it being spring or not spring. So I will cut this part out because you guys know how to fussy cut. And I don't go as fast as a lot of people do, so it takes me a little while. All right, there we go. We're going to pretend that this is a winter flower. Everybody see it? It's a winter flower. Okay, I'm going to put that down there, but I think I'm going to put this little tag in behind it. This is one of those medicine labels. 
we have them on I think I only had one page for the freebie and then I have four pages on the, in the digitals if you'd rather get the whole four pages I like them they work well on just to embellish a little bit more on your tags or pockets or pages or whatever and that flower actually has a little bit of pink in it just a tiny bit and I'm gonna tuck that right there so it looks like that it is under there and then let's see then I'm gonna put my glue on the back of it you only have to put just a dot of art glitter glue and it'll it will stick down well so I just put just a dot here and there And then I take my little bone folder and to make sure that the glue has spread out everywhere, I just press over it. So see, I don't mind that at all. I don't mind it. I know you may say, oh, that's not very wintry. You've got a winter journal there and you're putting flowers in it. Well, I guess to each his own. I don't try to match everything up. That's just not my style. I don't. I don't want it to stick out like a sore thumb, but my journals are more eclectic where things just, if it pops in my head and I think it will look good, then I do it. Oops. Little part I didn't get glued. Let's glue you down so you don't get torn. See, I like that. I don't mind that at all. And then we'll put some seam binding in there that will go with everything and see there's little tiny flicks of pink in there and then pink here and then you've got some pink here so to me that works wonderful all right i think i'm gonna leave that let's see we've got another pocket here and this is another tall pocket so let's give it a measure and see what we got four and a half and then it's gonna be by seven and a half so let's find a nice piece that will go in there I think we can do this one so we've got the little frosty on the front there and I did back these but that's okay I can I can back them again because I don't think I have any left that are not backed um, oh, I might like that one better. Look at that and that. That looks good together. So, it's not a problem. Just a little ink. And, hey, I use the HP ink program, so it's not expensive at all. I'm a cheapo. No, I love that program. I mean, if you have an HP printer, and if you're not using the ink program, then you're missing out. You're, you're wasting a lot of money. And I'm not saying that trying to sell it because I get a little bit. I get a free month if you choose a free month through my link. And I'm not saying that for that purpose either. I'm, I've never had anybody that was disappointed in it when they signed up. Never a person. Okay, you got that way too wide, Edith. I just like to try to save you money. That's all. Okay, that one will go. Now we can back it. I am going to have to put a little bit of something, th some thickness there, because that's really, really thin. So I think first I'll put a book page behind it. And then I'll put this paper. And I'll try to grab the book pages that are the most brittle to back these with because that way you're repurposing that book page. And then, you know, these, if you fold, they're going to break because they're so old and brittle. But if you're repurposing it, ooh, those have got good backs on them. I'll save those for something else going to put it pretty close to the side but we'll have to cut that little bit of lump off there and that's okay and 
and I can go ahead and trim it with my trimmer. Okay, then we can put this on the back. Ooh, just was long enough. Okay. See how it's curling? That ink is, I mean, that glue is in there trying to dry. And it does this better if you let it sit a little bit and then do it. But now look, flat as a flitter. Okay. <laughs> I know you guys think, oh my goodness, where did she get all these words? Flat as a flitter and crooked as a dog's hind leg. And I mean, that's just some of this southern stuff. And it will curl a little bit again while it's drying. But if you just do that a couple of times, it will flatten it right back out while it's drying. Okay. Let's go ahead and punch this top and this. That will remind me to put some seam binding in there. There we go. Just the right size. Um, and I will come back and add to some of these pages before the journal goes out. It's just right now I'm just trying to get the main part of it finished and then I can finish the rest of it off camera. Ooh, that's some of the same colors. I like that. But I think, no, I can get my coffee cup in there. Okay. Let's do this one. Yeah, I wished that I had had the right paper in these, in there, my printer to do these because I don't like to print these on regular copy paper, cheap copy paper. I like them to be, I usually use 28 pound and this is more like 22 pound. It's very cheap and inexpensive that I get here locally just for in-house printing. So, but you know, I'm not gonna waste them. It is what it is. I can always make them thicker. Oh yeah, I like that one. I'm gonna, I may just fold back a little of that top instead of cutting it off. Let's see if I have any paper I can back it with that's thick and I don't have to put two pieces on there. I think I can back it with this. Yeah, I'm just gonna fold that over and glue it. Uh-oh, my glue fell over. Yeah, that'll work. I need to get videos done for next week, too, just in case we um, lose power. I need to get them up and scheduled for you guys. I've got a whole plan going. I don't want to break that plan. Oh, watch this. Look at that glue that squirts out there. Oh my goodness, Edith. What a mess, girl. That's called pressing so hard on your glue that you make a mess. Now, I know that I could cut everything with my trimmer, but I love cutting paper. <laughs> It's it's always been, even when I was a little girl, I can remember sitting in with the Sears and Roebuck's catalog, and it was huge. And my aunt would bring it to me. She got it, and she would bring it to us. And I would sit after my mom looked through it, and I would cut out the, the ladies in there and the dresses and all of that, and I would decorate them up. I put different dresses on them, and swimsuits and all that kind of stuff I loved it and I had a little pair of scissors that I used little safety scissors because I was only about nine but I can remember it as plain as if it was yesterday doing that sitting in the floor in the bedroom and cutting out and I called them paper dolls cutting out paper dolls and I'd, I'd cut out the little purses and shoes and I would 
my mom had made me some of that glue that you can make using flour and water. She had made me some of that glue and I would glue their clothes on them and change their outfits. That was just the best time. And now we've got all of this fancy stuff and we still say, well, what am I going to do? I think sometimes we need to have a, an awakening and go back to our roots and say, hmm, I did all of that with what little I had. Yep, you did. Oh, I love that. So there's that piece. This is the middle. I love that. I'm going to put some charms on here. I don't think I'm going to do anything to that. I'm, if, if anything, I'll put a little something here, but I don't know. I'm going to skip it for now. And I have a side tuck pocket here that we need to fill up. And I have this that I could put in there. So see how good those collections go? Even that, that and that. That's completely different collection. This is the Winter Woodland collection that I did. And then this is the Cup of Coffee um, Botanical I did. And I mean, to me, they just go. They blend. They work. Oh no, I'll have to put something there. That's stuck. Must have had a little glue on it. We'll put a little tiny pocket or something down there at the bottom. So let's make this into a journal card. And I think, and I may not even make it into a journal card. I may just fold this over since we've got the backing already on here. You can write on that. And I may just cut that down so it'll slide in there like that. Let's do that. I'm going to cut a little off the bottom and then some off of that top. And it can just be a li another little note taking place or journaling place. Let's see how much more I need to cut off. Just a little. I didn't want to cut the guy's name up there. I think he's the author of that song. Well, I don't know if that's a guy's name. The Kings? I don't know. I don't know what that other word is. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut a little bit more. I'm going to cut the bottom. See if that one will work. Yes, that goes. Now what I'm going to do is just use my ink and go around it a little bit. And this will just be a little folded piece of paper that you can journal on. I think I'm going to leave it sticking out just a little bit so you can see that blue pine cone there. I like that. Okay, then we need to put something here, and I think I'll come back and do that. I may not do anything but run a little washi across there, just a little piece of washi. I don't know. I'll come back and fix that. Then we have a belly band here that I need to slip something under, and I have something. Let me grab it. I have one of these little notebooks that we made. It's got all kinds of paper in there. That even has some old tape on it where they tape that book back together. That's a very old book. The weather forecast. <laughs> so I made these a while ago. It has a little closure here at the top if you want to keep that on there. Just a little Tim Holtz clip. I think what I'll do, put it in like this. And then I'm just going to clip it to that so that it doesn't fall out. There we go. I like that. And I may come back and add something here like a piece of washi or a little bit of lace. Something like that. Don't know. And then there is a big old bug. Whew, don't know. This is an Edith Holden page, I believe. No, this is out of the book My Garden. That's what that is. Okay, I need to put something here. You could put a pocket there. I think, let's see. Let's use this postcard right here. This is on some of that same paper that Melina was getting rid of. I've got to find out what paper this was because I think I want more of it. If, the, if you can get it. Sometimes the paper that we buy, we have bought on sale somewhere, and we can't get it again. 
and that may be the case here, but I'm going to try to find out from her what the name of it is, because none of these have the name on there. And if I can find out, I'll let you know. Yeah, that'll, that'll go good with the pocket. Then we can put a little bird or something there. And this is a little postcard. We could stamp our little postcard stamp on there since it really doesn't have anything on it, couldn't we? Let me see if I can find it real quick. Well, it wasn't so quick, but I did find it. I need to put my stamps in a different location. Right now they're up top. And sometimes it's hard for me to get to them. I'll, I have so much stuff right here in front of me. I need to put them down where I can get a hold of them real quick. All right. This to me looks like an address, but it may not be. It may just be something that resembles it, but I like it anyway. So we're gonna use it. See, look at that, isn't that neat? I love that. And then, let's see, we'll put a postage on there. Let's stamp that off. And I don't clean all my stamps right away. It doesn't hurt them at all. A lot of times the ink that you leave on there actually conditions them. Of course, I get it all over my fingers too, so. And, uh-oh, I don't know which way is the right way up. I think this way would work. You know, they stamp them right side up and upside down and everything all the time anyway. Look at that. I love that. Now, what could we stamp right here? Let's use my little favorite stamp and we'll make it look like that's the writing. This stamp block, it's not going to work on that, so I'm just going to have to do this. This one I've used so much it doesn't have any sticky on it anymore. Oh, I like it. See, now it looks, it resembles a real postcard with all kinds of writing on it and addresses. This is our VersaFine Sepia ink. I love it for stamping. Does a good job. All right, I'm going to punch just a tiny pull in the top of this somewhere. I think I need soup tonight, as cold as I've been today. Might have to make me a pot of soup of some kind. Oh yeah, I like that. So let's put that right there. And then we can put either a letter, a journaling tag, or something on the inside of that. I don't know what I'll put in there right now, but I'm, I don't like to put things in it as soon as I glue it down. I like to let it sit a while. So... We've got another belly band that goes across this way. I don't want to make another little booklet to go in there, so I'm not sure what I'll put in that one yet. I'll have to do that as I think about it. Got a little side tuck here. Ooh, I thought it was all glued down, but it's not. It is not. Let's see. Good. I could fold that and put that in there. And then we could put something else behind it. Okay. We'll tuck that in and then I'll tuck something else in behind it. And I really don't want the Christmas tree on here since this is more like a winter journal. It's not a Christmas journal. So I'm going to cover this up actually. I know you may be saying, well, that's pretty. Don't cover it up. But I really don't want the Christmas tree on there. I think this paper just had the tree on it. And I didn't, didn't change it out. I'm trying to find one that I haven't used so far in here. I don't think I've used that one. And that brown goes really good. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and mark it where I want to cut it off.
Yeah, this is more of a winter journal and not a Christmas journal, so I really don't want a Christmas tree in it. So we're just going to cover it. So if you have a page in your journal that you are not real happy with and you don't want that page on there, then just cover it up. Just put another piece of paper on there or a partial piece of paper. You don't have to put the whole page like I'm doing. You could just have gone down through there. But I'm just, I don't want to cut any of my flower off that I have there. So I'm going to do it all. And if you don't have your page already in your journal, you can always stitch it on, stitch around it. I've done that before too. Now, I never get these straight when I put them on, but I just take my glue and, well, I take my scissors first and I trim off any excess that's sticking out. And then I take my ink and I go around the edges and nobody is the wiser. Now, sometimes you have to just keep working that little part in there because that's where the fold is but it'll eventually when you close the book it'll go down now we've got a beautiful page there that actually goes with the journal i'm gonna leave that for journaling love that page that's that 1859 paper again and then we have a little pocket here and this is an edith holden book page so let's see what we want to tuck in there Okay, I'm going to cut this out again. I'm, I keep going back to this paper, but I love it. And I think that will go good on there. Come on, cut out. And then this one. Melina, if you're watching, you got to tell us what paper pad this is where it come from. We gotta see if we can get more. Okay. It's got a nice place on the back that you can write on. So that one is gonna go in there. And we'll cut this one out. Oh and I don't even mind that little hole being there. I like that too. Okay. So I'll tuck that one in behind that and then I think I might put something with a little color in front of it. We'll have three different pieces in that. But I'll look that up a little later. There we've got that Christmas tree again. I didn't know I used that paper twice. Hmm. Well that's not good Edith. Why did you do that? I'm sorry, I didn't know I used the paper twice. I think we may just do this. I'm not even gonna put the whole page on. I'm gonna tear it. This cheap copy paper, it doesn't tear well either. <laughs> it doesn't tear like the good copy paper does. I've noticed that. Yeah, that'll work. I don't mind this being on there. And we could leave this for a pocket, but if I do that, I'll have to back it with something because this is so thin that I don't think I want to do that. I am just going to put my glue on there and use it as is. And I'm just going to use my mat to put my glue down. I can wipe it off. Oh, I just put a big chunk right there, didn't I? There we go. Looks like it was meant to be. I did not realize that I had used that paper twice. Hmm. I must have been kind of out of my mind when I was doing this one. This is a vintage envelope that I got from one of you guys. And I'm going to put some things in there. 
there's our little bunny it's a winter full life and then we have just a pocket here I think in this one I'll just put some different things like I could do that one and um, just some a few little different pieces we could do that one so that's December 1931 and we can do this one just some little pieces of ephemera like that and then I want to put something here and I think we might just use that this says charcoal and in the used to in the winter time we had to use charcoal to heat with when I was little I loved the smell of burning charcoal I'm telling you or coal coal not necessarily charcoal coal I love the smell of it okay put that there and and that little boy looks like he's all dressed up for winter doesn't he he is that's one of the Tim Holtz people this is the small ones I wish I had got the larger ones I ended up getting the small ones and it's hard to use them on certain things because they're so little but we can use him here and like he's propped up on that little piece there there we go I don't mind that he's got a nice big jacket on and I've got some other things that I may put up there too like I said I'm just right now I was just getting the main theme going and then we have a journal card in here already so yeah there it is I thought oh no it's stuck these are closed down with magnets so that's a good start on it I don't mind that I've still got to put quite a few more things in there so it's going to be nice and chunky and we're going to close this one up probably with some lace some torn lace all right guys that is it for the video today I hope you enjoyed just watching me uh, do this if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we will talk to you guys later bye bye